Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install OS X Leopard on an unsupported Mac. Well first off, I have, I do have an unsupported Mac, it is 733 megahertz. Let's prove. You know about this Mac. 733 megahertz, PowerPC G4, not Intel, 10.4.11. Gonna eject. If you have this kind of keyboard, F12. If you have a Windows keyboard, six balls. Just hold F12 for a while. So, we'll just show you the disc. It is OS 10 Leopard. Gonna pop that in. You're going to download Leopard Assist. I got it from MacUpdate.com, so... And then you're going to click Continue. Click on this folder. It should open up in a new menu. If you really want to read me first, you can. You don't have to. Click on Leopard Assist. And here you go, you get your introduction here. Let me read that. Well, I have everything, Quartz Extreme, and 32 megabytes or more. So I'm going to click continue. Minimum system requirements. PowerPC G4 processor, 512 MB RAM or better. AGP graphics have it. 10 gigabytes free space recommended for Leopard setup. I'll let you read it because I really want to continue. After that, you're going to agree. Now, sometimes you get a load disk error if you don't pick this. So I'm going to select on, re on startup. I'm going to click continue. You don't have to use verbose. Leopard Assist is now ready to commit changes to Macintosh parameter ramp. If you are sure all settings are correct, go ahead and click start. I'm just going to ask you for the administrator password. So I'm going to type mine in. Leprosis is now ready to restart your computer and continue with stage 2 of the installation process. The Mac OS and installer disk will take over from here. Please ensure your leopard disk is inserted in the drive now. Ensure any work is saved and close any open application before being restart. Should you encounter any problem with your machine, Upon restarting, we advise you open that command Apple plus Option plus P plus R keys and switching the computer on the clear onto clear script. Hold these down until the mic and until the Mac chimes the second time. When you have checked everything and are ready to see, click restart. So I'm going to close out Finder. Finder again. That thing downloads. Quit everything that has an arrow underneath of it. So, Safari, quit. Do not quit Leopard Assist, of course, that would be kind of dumb. You cannot quit Finder. If you did quit Finder, it would crash. The dashboard cannot be quit either. So, here we go. Starting. Did reboot. Don't worry if you get a black screen for a little while. Here we go. We're at the picking a disc screen. We have a little thing up in the top left hand corner.
There we go. You're gonna want to click on that and then click on the arrow after you're done. Because as you can see, this is still depressed in. Well, I'm waiting for the arrow to pop up. I'm just gonna be entertaining myself with my screen. There we go. Now click on it. Click the arrow. And wait. Now give it some time. Now we're just going to wait. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. We are now in Leopard. Use English for main language for me. If you're some Japanese person, just click on your language. And you're preparing installation. Welcome to Mac OS 10 installer. As you can see, it has succeeded. Install Mac OS 10, click continue and follow the on-screen instructions to quit. Choose and quit installer from the install menu and click start with this. Read the following information before you install Mac OS X. Mac, that is the Mac OS X installer. You can go up here to Utilities if you don't want to install it and quit Mac OS X installer first. And then you would have to go through this whole thing again. Then you click on Startup Disk. Now, if you want to wish to partition your drive, click on Disk Utility. You don't have to know. I'm not going to because it's just a pain in the butt. So, there you go. Mac OS 10 installed DDD. This is everything you wanted to do. You wanted to partition, click up here, partition. You can change the partition scheme if you wanted to. I don't feel like doing it. Click X, go back, and we continue. Agree. I have 8 gigs of memory, so I'm good. Now, if you really wanted to customize the settings, you could by, by clicking on which drivers you wanted to install and drop it down to 4.7 gigabytes of memory. But, hmm, knowing I probably want some of these tools, like Xcode tools, that's the big one. So I'm just going to click done and install. It is now installing. You have successfully installed Mac OS X on an unsupported Mac. Thank you for watching YouTube. I will be back to show you the rest of the startup, the setup. Good day.